Hey guys, Bondo here. Today we're digging the uh, footer for the little Madura project. We got one side here, Doug, over here with Dwayne. He's got his uh, 311C cat. One, that's the same one we used to dig the um, foundation with. I got my Anmar over here, but that's just a little machine. I don't feel like messing around with this for a long time. Today's a Saturday, so we come over here at seven o'clock in the morning and we're gonna get this dug out. We should be done by 10 o'clock, I would think, or earlier, we'll see. And uh, that big bucket's gonna make it a lot quicker. We gotta strip all this topsoil off. That's what he's doing right now. And then we're digging down. And this is gonna be a concrete block. This garage is gonna be made out of concrete blocks just cause uh, the price of Nadura has gone crazy. So we're gonna pop it in with some blocks. It's a stem wall, so it's gonna be pretty much buried all the way around. You're gonna see like two blocks sticking out of the ground. It's gonna come up even with the Nadura. That'll save us a lot of money on this project because we can uh, we won't have to parge it or nothing, and uh, it's not it's a non-insulated space anyway, so we don't have to worry about it. The garage wall doesn't have to be insulated, but the basement being the dirt will make that nice. That's what we're doing. He can move a lot of uh, dirt with that machine quick. Gonna be a lot of dirt left on this project. I don't know what they're gonna do with it. But maybe build up their backyard, but there's a ton of dirt here. So we'll see on that. We got that laser set up, guys. That's Dwayne's laser, and uh, that's how we get the grade right. This grade kind of comes up, and the road's kind of higher kind of see the garage floor is going to be right forward right into that opening right there that's where you're going to walk down a set of stairs into the basement out of the garage so that's why we left that opening there the back two openings here and here are windows so that's the height we're shooting for but we're down way below that because we got to get this organic soil out of here we don't want all this organic soil. We're gonna dig that out and put, um, we'll probably put some bank run gravel in here and then uh, have to machine tamp it down real good and everything. So we're up to. Okay guys, we got our dug. There she is. 26 by 34 garage footer. Dwayne's loading up the machine right now to get out of here. Excuse me. Should be plenty of room. Bring that footer down through there. Only took us hour, a little over an hour and a half to dig it, so that was good. Get the machine tied down. We're going out to breakfast, me and Dwayne. We're checking out the diagonal right now, guys, to square up this garage with the house. Well, Mike's got two levels holding them plumb. Okay, I'm getting closer. That's what we're trying to do here is get our square. This should be 67.1 should be our diagonal. How's she look? Okay, now we're measuring the other diagonal, guys. These diagonals should be the same. These two diagonals, because this entire building is 30 by 60, if you count the garage within the foundation. We want these diagonals the same. So that's what we're doing right now. Very important to get this nice and square. Your way, I already know I'm from this. Yeah, you look pretty good, I'm Mike. I'm good right there, 67.1. 67.1? So I don't know why, when we range off this, 
Hey guys, I got everything squared up. We got some line snapped on the footer. Uh, Mike cut us up some bond beam blocks. Right here, we cut the centers out of them. Just whacked them out. That's where they're gonna lay up against here, guys, where this rebar. I actually cast that right into the Nadura block when I poured that wall, same thing over there. So that's how they tie together and that'll get um, that'll get core filled. That, that cell of those blocks will get core filled. So here's our chalk line. Like I said, everything's squared up. We're waiting on the boys getting us some mortar. Mike's got some mud pans here that we're setting up. I ain't done a block job in a while. It's kind of exciting today. And this is the project right here. So shouldn't be bad. Oh, here comes the mud. <laughs> Not the mud you're thinking. The mortar. The boy's pulling in with the mortar. Yeah, baby. Rock and roll time. Get as close as you can with that. Hmm. guys we got her done me and magic mike he's having a soda pop over there cold pepsi right mike you like pepsi don't you blue that cans baby good. i'm gonna have one more you're gonna have one more pepsi that's a good pepsi right it there. is that's what she looks like guys cold. we laid some eight inch on top of the tens guys that creates a lift right there for the floor to sit on that's why we did that. We go from 10 inch to the eight inch. You can see that. That creates that lip. Your your floor will sit right on that lip. So that gives it a nice, it won't ever settle on you. We, we still tamp everything in lifts, bringing it up. But that's just a little extra insurance policy right there. And we will core fill this bad boy where our anchor bolts are. We'll put concrete in there and core fill. So we started these about nine and we're done at 1.30. Me and Mike Lane, big biscuit and tuna, tending for us. And I ain't laid blocks in quite a while, so we did good. 